네 안녕하세요 여러분 네, 네 반갑습니다 네 오늘 채팅으로 날씨 얘기를 좀 했는데 네, 뭐, 네 즐거운 채팅 네 따뜻한 방송이 되길 바, 바랍니다 네 이, week number 72 I just start right away 이른 둘째 주 2022년 2월 26일 방송을 시작하겠습니다 네 안녕하세요 네 토요일 오전 9시 한국 시간으로 네, 매주 방송하고 있습니다. 어, 산진님 안녕하세요. 캣엠님, 아코우토님, 안드레님, 안드레님 안녕하세요. 네, 반갑습니다. 네, 오늘의 첫 번째 단어, 어, 871번째 단어는 드시, 드, 어, 드, 이, 드시. 아, uh, we have covered this 드, 뭐뭐 뭐, 하 드, in Week number 23, word number 310. Uh, 드시 and 드 is pretty much very, 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 the usage is very, pretty much the same. I would say, um, like 드 and 드시, maybe something like this. When you take out this E from h a t 드 Most of the time, still the same. Anyway, let's see the. Let's look at the examples. Can you say Nara? And Wendy, what do you mean? Nara and Wendy. <laughs> mm. 표정이 like facial expression. 놀란 듯, as if surprised. It looked, it looked as if surprised. Now his or her facial expression seemed as if he or she was surprised. 표정이 놀란 듯이 보였어. 네, 표정이 놀란 듯. You can just take out this E. It's pretty much the same in this case. And the next one, J, like that kid over there, that person, that guy over there. 잘 안다. Know well. As if. Yeah. He explained or she explained as if he knows about it very well. Like maybe he pretend to know about it or maybe he really knows it anyway he explained as if he knows it well that's what it means uh, he uh, this one he or she looked as if he or she were surprised yeah, that's right thank you and momo nim 안녕하세요 can you save the podcast oh you don't worry you can wa watch it later anytime so don't worry about it E, subject particle, not really in this case. Yeah, E is very commonly used as a particle, subject particle, but not in this case. Just, uh, it's something like something L Y in English, Engl English, like L Y. Like, well, let's say calm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Spelling is wrong. Calm and calmly or slow slowly that kind of lee um kind of but not exactly that's more like it in, the, in this case anyway yeah like this kid this guy here 무대에 올라가면 if get on the stage or if when he goes on the stage 미친 듯이 as if he or she is crazy 춤춰 dance to dance so this guy dances as if he's crazy whenever when he gets on the stage <웃음> 얘는 무대에 올라가면 미친 듯이 춤춰 음. 어브랑카님 안녕하세요 친애하는 선생님 귀하의 강의에 다시 참여할 수 있게 되어 기쁩니다 네 저도 기쁩니다 네 매주 잘 같이 공부했으면 좋겠습니다 <웃음> 네, 
New s u b s c r i b e Oh, Aisha Nim. 네, 반갑습니다. I hope you learn, enjoy the learning together. n e j i n Nim. 네. And the next one. 아무렇지 않은 듯이 넘어갔어. 넘어가다. Uh, primarily, it means to go over. Go over a mountain or hill. Go up, over. But in this case, he just passed. Like, he just let it slide. Um, he was just let it slide. Or oh, I, I saw something, but I didn't make it a big deal out of it. Just I just you know, do my job. Uh, let it slide, as if it is nothing. As if it is nothing, or as if he or she is not offended, or just nothing. As if it's nothing. That's what it means. 아무렇지 않은 듯이 넘어갔어. Okay, why? 안다는 oh, 놀란 듯이 안다. Uh, why is that? <laughs> 쟤는 안다. Okay, it's like it's like as if he is saying as if he is saying 나잘 알아. 나잘 안다. Like 잘 안다. Maybe If I put this one, maybe it's easier for you to understand. Mm. He explained as if he as if he is saying, "I know it well," something like that. <laughs> I hope this explanation will be helpful for you. Does it have positive con connotation, or does it mean he actually looks insane? Oh, this one. Either way, either way. Mm, that was a good question, Leila Nim. Yeah. Usually, enthusiastically, I guess. But sometimes it can be like mm, negative. But usually, I guess in this case, which da in this case like positive, like like having fun, something like that. 춤추다, 춤추다 means to dance. 춤추다. Hmm. 여기 내가 가장 좋아하는 선생님이 온다. <laughs> Um, that, that is a very good um, example, like very good sentence. 여기 내가 가장 좋아하는 선생님이 온다. <laughs> is it me? Then thank you very much. <laughs> Can you do a video about the Korean letters? Letters? I'm not sure what you, what you mean. Letters? Maybe letters? Or do you mean Korean alphabet? Then I did, if that's what you're asking. 네, 그 강아지는 반갑다. Like saying, 반갑다 is like being glad to be glad or to be happy to see someone someone you know kind of unexpectedly 반갑다 or sometimes you can do you can use it to someone you meet for the first time and it's kind of like nice to see you nice to meet you anyway that puppy the sh shook shook that sh past tense of the shake a shook its tail as if he's saying hey it's nice to see you yeah. 반갑다 그 강아지는 반갑다는 듯이 꼬리를 흔들었어 I welcome like something like that to see and welcome welcome to oh, in, in a way it can be like that yeah 한글 한글 yeah you can look up my video I mean there's a couple of uh, several video about Hangul thing. <laughs> 고맙습니다, 지한 사피라님, for your, your compliment. The puppy wagged, wagged its tail as if it were happy to see us. Yeah, that's right. Something like that. Link made in. 고맙습니다. Korean alphabet. Yeah, I made some and um, maybe yeah, some practice one, or reading practice, or just explaining about the pronunciation, something like that. You can uh, look up in my channel. Yeah, so first one was 드시, 드시. and let's move on to the next one which is 어울리다, 어울리다. we have many examples here mm. 
네, 덱스터님 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. I'm still a beginner at Korean, but I'm excited to watch more of these videos once I learned more. Yeah, you can watch later in time when you're ready. And thanks for your comment, j o h n n y 님 네, 반갑습니다. 네, 새로, like newly, do. 오케이, okay, 새로 한 머리. 머리 is usually head, but sometimes it means hair, like short of 머리카락. Uh, 새로 한 머리. You do some hairdo newly. 새로 한 머리. 잘 어울린다. Oh, it suits you very well. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, you, you did your hairdo newly. Oh, it looks good on you. Something like that. 새로 한 머리. 새로 한 머리. 잘 어울린다. Your new style looks good. Yeah, exactly. Very good. These videos are, are so helpful and relaxing. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Robin Nim. 네. <laughs> 고맙습니다. Oh, sorry about this typo. 혀서츠가. <laughs> okay. 네. Shirt. Yeah, shirt. Your shirt like matches you well. Suits you well. Looks good on you. Yeah. 셔츠가 잘 어울려. And 밝은 색이 어울릴 거야. The bright color would be uh, suit, su suit you, something like that. <laughs> would be match, something like that. Like good together. 밝은 색이 어울릴 거야. 네, 마마모티님, 영화감. The shirt suits you well, yeah, that's right. And bright color would be. Uh, ooh. The bright color would suit you well, something like that. How to pronounce Rio? Oh, there's a video, video about Rio pronunciation. You can, you can look up. And maybe you need some practice. And c h e n e n like that guy over there. 사, oh, all that can be like to get along with someone. Oh, it can be like that. So c h e n e n 사람들, like people. He. or she gets along with people well something like that 쟤는 사람들이랑 잘 어울려 to hang, out, hang, around, hang around and get along well that's 어울리다 and when something is mixed in a same area you can also use 어울리다. Like, 한데 어울리다. Usually, 한데 어울리다. Together. 한데 어울리다. Together means kind of like mixed in the same area and in, in a harmonized way. <laughs> harmonious, harmonious way. Something like that. Like, get well together. Anyway, various kinds of flowers. Various kinds of flowers mixed. together in a same area and it looks it seemed as if it was a artwork it looks very gorgeous or it looks very beautiful mm. like many kinds of various kinds of flowers being together in the same area same place something like that and it looked as if it was a artwork 예술 작품 so 여러 종류의 꽃들이 한데 어울려 마치 예술 작품 같았어. What is different between 여러 가지 and 여러 종류? Oh, 여러 가지 꽃들이 여러 가지 꽃들이 여러 종류의 꽃들이 uh, It's just a little different. Pretty much the same. 여러 가지 여러 가지 여러 종류 종류 sounds more Focus on that, like, kind, 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 kind. 여러 가지, just, just, <laughs> various kind. It's pretty much the same, yeah. It's hard to ex explain about it. 종류, the nuance, the sounds like the specific, big one, specific one, specific one. Something like that. That's my explanation at this moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. All kinds of flowers came together like a work of art. That's something like that. Yeah, very similar. To be in harmony. Yeah, that's right. That's right. 한데 어울리다. To be in harmony. 
get along well together mm. different types different kinds 여러 종류 different type 여러 가지 um, very similar I'm not sure about that yeah but yeah I hope it was helpful <laughs> your lives are always settled yeah it always set. it will be you know, each Saturday Korean time 네. And the next one is 쉬다. 쉬다 has some like different meanings. Anyway, we have like six examples here. Oh, that's the name. That's right. Shida, like to rest. Or sometimes it's, it's like to have a day off. Like business day. I just want to take a rest. I just don't, op don't want to open my store now to, uh, for today. Like you can use Shida as well in that kind of cases as well. So, 편히 쉬어. Yeah, 쉬어. <laughs> like comfortably take a rest. Yeah. 편히 쉬어. 오늘 쉽니다. It can be like either I'm gonna take a rest today or I'm gonna take a day off today. 오늘 쉽니다. If I say 오늘 방송 쉽니다, it means I'm skipping the broadcast for today. Like I'm taking a day off. If I say that to today, then it means that 음, 오늘 쉽니다. 쉬는 시간, oh, resting time, take a oh, resting time, something like that, like break time, that's right. It's literally to rest, that's right, that's right. 뭐라고 님? 어, 라와 님 사랑합니다. <laughs> 라와 님, is that your name? <laughs> 네, and eatle, two days. It's like I took a rest for two days, or I took a day up for two days in a row yeah something like that 이틀 쉬었어 and 쉬다 can be like to breathe to breathe and 숨 쉬다 like 숨을 쉬다 숨 쉬다 same thing Sum 쉬 쉬다 and 숨 쉬다 single verb same thing uh, anyway 물고기 fish or fishes 아가미 아 아가미 I forgot English word I looked up yesterday and I forgot 음. oh maybe I didn't look up gills G I L L or branchy what uh, let's see gill, gill or branchia. branchia that's what agami means agami gills oh and to breathe through gills that's right yeah <laughs> so what does it also mean to take peace? Oh, she, no, 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 just me. So, someone, someone might say she, <laughs> but it, it's not, it's different from she, da. Just, <laughs> it's like when, when peace, <laughs> you can use that expression. Usually to a kid, yeah, among kids, usually. <laughs> that was a good question, though. And yeah, fish, fish is breathe with or through its gills yeah gills mm, thank you Carrie. 고맙습니다 so yeah 숨 쉬다 쉬다 can be like to breathe and when a food when a food goes bad like not really rotten not really be rotten just almost being rotten or just when the, when the, when the food is go bad then you can say 
음식이 쉬었어. Yeah. A little like not really bad. Almost, almost go bad. Then you can use you can say 음식이 쉬었어. You can use 쉬다 in this kind of case as well. 네, 좋은 아침입니다. 후다 암님. 네. 한숨을 쉬다. Like breathe a sigh. 아. 아, 한숨을 쉬다. Yeah, breathing a sigh. That was a good one. Good example. Expires. Ah, uh, expires sounds a little different. So it sounds a little different. Like when some food you supposed to not be sour, but somehow I can taste a little sour taste due to being old. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. 음식이 쉬다. A little off or turning. Oh, so, oh, that sounds pretty much like about right, Jeff Nim. Yeah, a little off. 음식이 쉬다. Something like that. Mm. Not edible. Usually not edible. Mm. It's hard to. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Starting to get still. Maybe I'll look up that one. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yes, um, very good. Um, 고맙습니다, Dexter Nim. Yeah, so um, you can use 쉬다 in that kind of case as well. And 어제 미친 듯이 노래 불렀다. I sang as if I was crazy yesterday. 목이 쉬어서 my voice. Uh, uh, usually my voice is ah ah ah. Then after I shout a lot yesterday, then maybe your voice sounds like ah uh, ah uh, something like that. 목이 쉬다. You can use 목 쉬다. Like 목이 쉬다. Usually together. 목. Like neck. And my voice in this case. 쉬다. Uh, after you shout too much. Something like that. 어, 제아레이님 오랜만입니다. 왠전. But I love how 물고기 basically means fish me now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But when do you use 생선? And when 물고기? Is 생선 refer to fish that you eat? And 물고기 is used when you refer to an animal in general. Yeah, it's about that. Usually, usually. When you see, usually just when you go, when you're in around the beach or ocean and you see, or maybe you're seeing a documentary TV program about uh, under the sea, <laughs> something like that. And you see fish is there, then usually it's mulgogi. You, you don't really say tengson in that kind of cases. And when you see a market, like a fish market, then you can usually use tengson. Tengson. Usually. Tengson. <laughs> a oh, water meat. You have a water meat, that's right. So, uh, yeah, you can use mogi shida as like. Ah, <laughs> your voice goes like something like that. So, 목이 쉬다, 음식이 쉬다, 숨을 쉬다, in taking a rest. Yeah, you can use 쉬다 in those kind of cases. And the next one is 알리다. You know what 알다 means? 알다. 알리다. Let someone know. Let someone know. Let someone knows. Let someone know. Yeah. So, to inform something or to it came like to teach something in a way anyway we have like five examples Elvira Nim, and you're welcome. 한국어 처음 공부했을 때 선생님이랑 생선님, <laughs> 생선님. That was a good one. <laughs> Alida is the passive verb of Alda. Exactly. 고맙습니다, 메라미미님. 네, so 이거 다 하면 if you finish it. 
or if you finish using it either way or yeah anyway 이, 이거 다 하면 then let me know let me know if you if you're finished if you when you finish it let me know that's what it means 이거 다 하면 나한테 알려줘 it's like let me know that, that's right what's different 사장님 and 선배님 oh not 순배님 선배님 어, 사장님 is like more, more like boss literally like CEO kind of uh, 사장 사 회사 company 장 like head 사장 선배 is just anyone who who came to the you know came to the company earlier than you yeah it can be a company or it can be a school anyone who entered to a school earlier than you is 선배 선배님 so it's that's it's different 네이 기쁜 소식 this happy news I just, I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, 이 기쁜 소식을 알리고 싶었어. 더 좋은 방법. A better way. Shall I teach you? Sh uh, shall I tell you? Shall I show you? A better way. That's what it means. Do you want to know it? Huh. And 수업 종료. Like end of a class or finish. End of a class. A bell sound, like bell ringing, bell sound that mm, let, <laughs> let you know about the uh, class end, finish it of class. Like after the class, you, you, you can hear a bell ringing. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's that. 수업 종료를 알리는 종소리. <laughs> 사장님, yeah, owner of a company usually. 회, sometimes it's like 회장. Uh, usually a group group of a company together, 회장. Anyway, a single company and the, the head of it is 사장님. 사장, 사장님. And email 주소 좀 알려줘. Please let me know your email address. 이메일 주소 좀 알려줘. 좀 doesn't really mean that much in this case. Like just like, kind of like being polite. 이메일 주소 좀 알려줘. Not polite sentence though. Just just, just being polite in a way. Mm. Anyway, 알리다 to let someone know. 어, 수업 완료. 수업 종료. 완료 and 종료. What's different? Ah. While you're like complete, finished, and you completed it. In a way, while you. And 종료. 종료 is just to finish, and while you is like to finish with completing something. Uh, a little different, I'll say. What does 주소 means? 주소 means address. A D D R E S S. Address. So, let me know your email. Address. Mm. Mm. So, I need to let someone know. And the next one is, oh, 차다. 차다 also has uh, different meanings. Mm. Anyway, what does it mean? 차다. Okay, you have to hear the difference in pronunciation, like, okay, 자다 and 차다. Uh, 
This one is chada, not chada. And this one is chada, like more aspirated one. Chada and chada. And like somewhere between J and CH, chada. And this one is like a strong CH sound, chada. Okay. Chada and chada. Mm, okay, so chada is to chada is to sleep, and chada has some different meanings. In these two cases, maybe this one just just this one, like to kick, k i c k to kick. So soccer is a sport that you kick ball with your feet or foot. Yeah, 축구는 발로 공을 차는 스포츠야. So chada in this case to means to kick and it's like this one literally came back to kick but in this case it's like to dump in a relationship um, between boyfriend and girlfriend you know like to dump <laughs> someone so did you did you dump or you or were you dumped something like that <laughs> like you did it or you you were like pass, passive, uh, passive verb in the past tense. So, like to dump someone can be like to chada. And in these four cases, it means to be filled. And uh, to be filled. So, 컵에 물이 찼어. Water is filled in a cup. The cup is filled with water. Yeah, that's better uh, translation. Cup is filled with water. Did you dump? Th did you dump them, or did you get dumped? Oh, exactly. In this case, thank you, Ling Mary Nim. 네, 고맙습니다. <laughs> 네. Mm, okay, and. Nambi, oh Nambi, what's uh <laughs> forgot the English word? Nambi, like pot, I guess. Nambi, something like you pour to boil something. You pour water to boil something. That is Nambi, maybe pot. And yeah, pot, oh that's right. Thank you. Oh, chada and cha. Okay, uh, that was a good question, Jeff. 고맙습니다. Chada. Uh, it came back to chada, cha, chaida. Um, past tense. Cha, chatta or chasso, chatta. Cha, yotta, cha yotta. These two are passive. This one is a um, basic form, chaida, and chayota, past tense, passive ones. So, it can be like to, to kick or to be kicked. It can be like that too. Or, you uh, know, in a relationships, it can be like to dump or get dumped, something like that. So, yeah, there you go, Jeff Nim. <laughs> Chada, Chaida, that's my extra name. <laughs> so, to be filled. Okay, Nambi, 물이 찰 때까지. Until the water is filled. You pour it. You pour, you pour water into a pot until it is filled with water. Yeah, Nambi에 물이 찰 때까지 부어. Oh, <laughs> don't, uh, don't worry about it, Jeff Nim. And, 이번 달, oh, oh, when the, okay, in this case, like, it's like this month, something like that, you may, this is your limit, oh, your, your limit is here, then, then you use something until, here, almost, almost, almost there. Not exceed, but almost there. Then you can also use 차다. 이번 
이번 달 한도, like limit, limit, a cap, ceiling, a cap. And this is your cap limit here, almost there, oh, just a little bit space here, almost there. And you can also use to be feel something like 차다. 한도가 차다. Okay. Uh, the limit of this month. Well, it's already feel like I I can't use more this month because the limit is filled. <laughs> something like that. 이번 달 한도 한도 가. You can use particle 가. 이번 달 한도가. You can say like that if you want to. 다 찼어. 음. I exhausted my monthly limit. Exhausted? E exhausted? Yeah, almost. I used I used them all. No more, no more extra something like that. Reach reach the limit. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's better. Then I reached the limit. That's right. Very good, Leila. Nim. So 이번 달도 이번 달 한도 한도 다 찼어. Hello my Hello my mother tongue is Spanish. Here I am learning Korean and practicing English at the same time. Oh, that's good for you, Sophia Nim. <laughs> and 자리가 다 찼어. Oh, there's no you can say this one when there's no empty seat. When there's no empty seats. Yeah, 자리가 다 찼어. Something like that. Mm. Or you can use you are going to have a sports game like soccer game or baseball game like nine persons on your team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And already the nine person is already gathered and no more seat. No more <laughs> position for you. 네, 자리가 다 찼어. You can say this one too. No more seats. Yeah, exactly. That's right. So, to be filled. Yeah, something like that. It's to be, uh, 차다. You can use that, use that one. And, oh, when you uh, equipped something around your body, like usually like some tool or some even like watch on your on your wrist. Yeah, 손목에 on your wrist, on my wrist. 손목 시계를 찼어. Like to equip, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Yeah. These seats are all filled. That's that's right. Mm, yeah, in English, yeah, pre pretty much the same. And 총을 차다. A policeman, policeman. Having a gun around them and guarding the building. 총을 찬 경찰들이 uh, policeman who has guns guarding a building. 총을 찬 경찰들이 빌딩을 지키고 있어. And 아직도 uh, still 기저귀 like diaper. In English, American English, diapers, or British English is like nappy, something like that. So are you still wearing diapers? Does he still wearing diapers? Does he? Does he still? No. Easy. Wait, does he? <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. 아직도 기저귀 차? Like, hey, he's already five years old. 아직도 기저귀 차? You can say something like that. Or oh, armed police. Yeah, that's right. Um, police guard the building. Armed um, police, policemen, policemen, and policemen. Plural are guarding a building. And 기저귀, like to equip. 뭐 차다, it came like that. Are they still wearing diapers? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So 차다 can be used in that kind of case, and and 차다 also okay 차다 and 차갑다 sometimes 차다 is like shorten of 차갑다 which means to be cold so the beverage is cold 
The beverage is cold. Same thing. 차다, 차갑다. Can you use that sentence for someone who is old? To say that he is acting like a child? Oh, maybe you can, but I have never heard that expression. But it would be fun expression if you use it that way. <laughs> maybe almost everyone can understand. <laughs> building, 건물, same thing. Building, 건물, same thing. 춥다, 춥다 is for weather. And 차, 차갑다 is like you feel cold when you, when you touch something. Usually, usually. <laughs> Can you tell someone from a meeting? Like to kick, to dump? Uh, maybe you can use it. Yeah, I, I think so. But that's not happen. That doesn't happen that much, often. <laughs> 혀를 차다. Okay, 혀를 차다. Like to hit your lips or, or mouth or teeth with your tongue. 혀를 차다. Like, what's the kind of expression? Like, 혀를 차다. Something is ridiculous. Ah, something like that. 혀를 차다. Oh, kick out someone from meeting. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you for explanation. Uh, 쫓아내다, usually. 쫓아내다. Get someone out. 쫓아내다. Chota neda or net chota. Pretty much the same. Ne. Net chota. I think the this consonant is the correct spelling. Net chota. Net chota. I I think I think I think that's right. When about when someone is being cold to you? Oh, 차갑다. You, you can use that one. 차다. 차갑다. 저 사람 되게 차. 차가워. 차가운 반응. Cold reaction. Mm. Thank you for everything you've done so much for us. May God bless you. Oh, thank you, Hilda님. <laughs> 고맙습니다. 네, so the next one is 과. 과. We have some examples here. Like it can be like department, 총무, like general affair department, 총무, 과. Mm, uh, mm, general affair section or department 인사 a human resource it's not greeting 인사 in this case a human resources department something like that section and department so 과 can be like that or 과 can be like subject in a school, 문학, like usually 문학과 in a college or university, 문학, liter literature, 과 as a subject, as a major, uh, as a major, and chemistry as a major in a university, and 작곡, music composition, a music composition, major in a university. So 과 can be like that. And it can be like and a n d after a consonant. 물과 기름, water and oil. 산 mountain and ocean or sea 바다. So 물과 기름, 산과 바다. And sometimes 과 means exceed, uh, excessive. excessive. Like too much of a amount, quaying, quaying, something when something is too much, quaying, and like quaying poho, poho is like protection, quaying poho means protecting 
too much. Kwaing poho. And kwa sik, like eating too much. Eating too much. Kwa sik. And speeding too much. Exceeding speed. Like when you drive too fast. Kwa sok. And kwa um, drinking too much. And kwa si, try to pretend that you are very good. Too much. Try to make yourself look good to others way too much you're not there but you just pretend to be like over here <laughs> that's kwa shi so when you exceed something you can you also use kwa kwa also means past or oh, something kwa like kwa go is like past kwa yeah, you, know, you know in some cases like kwa can be like that too that's why kwa so be like spending money too much yeah, purchasing too much is kwasobi. That's that's a good example. Could you use kwaing in a sentence or two? Like kwaing, like kwaing po, protecting too much. Kwaing chinjol, being kind, but being kind too much. Kwaing chinjol, or something like that. Kwaing, yeah. So you can use kwa in that kind of cases as well. And the next one is molly. Molly. Do you know what it means? Molly. Or boasting, or like kwashi. I think that's about right. Boasting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for yeah your English word translation. And mall is like far. 새는 멀리 볼수 있어. Birds can see very far. 새는 멀리 볼수 있어. Birds birds can see far. That's right. 대표님 고맙습니다. And 행복은 멀리 있지 않아. Happiness is not that far away. Happiness is not far. And 망원경, like telescope. You can see star or stars which is far away with telescope. So 멀리. And 빨리 means to be Fast, badly, quickly, fast, molly, far. Hmm. And the next one is better. Better. Do you know what it means? Better. Okay, better subtract. Uh, subtract. <laughs> subtract. Sorry about that. Subtract or to take out. That's right. To take out. So, if you take out one from five, then it's four. Like subtract. 5에서 1을 빼면 4야. 멀리 is not an adjective. Molly. More like adverb. More like adverb. Mm. Oh, better came back to remove. Yeah, that's right. To remove. That's good. And 날짜 지난 건. The thing that the date have, has passed. You know? I removed from the list. I removed it from the list. About the thing that 날짜 지난 건. Okay, it's like something is on the list. It's like February, today's 26 in Korean time, 26. Something is like February 11, March, 
on fifth or maybe January twenty nine or April like April like like whatever and oh this one is passed and this one is passed like it's like the I I I removed it I removed from the list and that's what it means 날짜 지난 건 목록에서 뺐어 쌤 앞으로 단어랑 한자도 써 주시겠어요? 어우 what do you mean? 단어 in 한자 어떤 단어 여러 뜻이 있으면 도움이 아 오케이 when a single word have a many different meanings then if you see a Chinese, Chinese character it will be helpful for you that's what you're asking and okay I'll try to <laughs> I'll try to And, okay, 지난주에는, in last week, I only practiced except sleeping time and eating time. I only did practice. I, I practiced really, really, really hard. Like, except <laughs> sleeping time and eating time last week. That's what it means. Things that are out of date, I've removed from the list. Yeah, that's right. Jeff님, 고맙습니다. <laughs> oh, 고맙습니다, Hilde님. Yeah. And, 통장. 통장 is like bank account. Banknote, banknote. Yeah, 통장, I guess. Eh? Banknote. Uh, let, me, let me look up. A bank book. Deposit. Passbook, yeah, bank book. Usually, it means I took out omanon from the bank. Yeah, withdraw fifty thousand won from the bank. Mm, practically, that's what it means. 통장에서 오만원 뺐어 to withdraw some money from the bank. And 음식 냄새, smell of a food. I just wanted to take out from my house. In order to in order to do so, I open the window. 냄새를 빼다. Right? <laughs> to let the smell out of the place. 냄새를 빼다. Bank book, bank note. 고맙습니다, Sarah. 고맙습니다. And 오늘은 그냥 넘어가고 내일부터 살뺄 거야. <laughs> 살 빼다. It's like to lose your weight. Yeah, yeah. Like I decided to exercise from today, but okay, I just I just pass for today. I'll do it from tomorrow. 내일부터 할 거야. <laughs> That's what it means. 오늘은 그냥 넘어가고 내일부터 살뺄 거야. I open the windows to air out. The smell of food? Mm. You say that every day. <laughs> 네, 오늘은 그냥 넘어가고 just, I just pass. I go over for today. I'll do it from tomorrow. <laughs> 내일부터 살뺄 거야. <laughs> so 빼다, to remove, to take away, uh, to take out, to withdraw some money or to subtract. And that's better. And 예정. Do you know what it means? 예정. Or have you heard of it? We have like five examples here. Okay, like something is planned or to be expected or something like that. 어제 주문한 거, the thing that I ordered yesterday, it's scheduled or it's planned or it's expected to, expected to drive, uh, arrive, <laughs> expected to arrive tomorrow. Like to be planned, something like that. Like anticipated future. Anticipated 
time or you know anticipated or planned or expected something that is ye tong I have great respect for people who translate Korean to English because it's quite hard to make it sound natural in English. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> 네. 네, 어제 주문한 거 내일 도착할 예정이야. Planned, expected. Yeah, something about that. 예정. And 내일 대체 강사, substitute lecturer, substitute. Instructor. So tomorrow, substitute will. It's planned to do the lecture. Mm. Who like the substitute teacher? Like expected to be planned, or something like that. And 시기 예정대로 as planned. It is proceeding. The ceremony. The ceremony is proceeding. As it planned, as it is planned. Mm. Tomorrow, the substitute teacher is scheduled for the lecture. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. That's what it means. 내일 대체 강사가 강의할 예정이야. And the thing I ordered yesterday is expected to arrive tomorrow. 야, 어제 주문한 거 내일 도착할 예정이야. 시기 예정대로. 진행되고 있어. As planned. Oh, that's right. As planned. And 예정에 없는 행사였어. The, it was an it was a event which was not planned. Oh, 예정에 없는 행사였어. As my first language is Turkish and it has similarities with Korean, I was able to make sense of the grammar stuff I got to learn so far. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there's uh, some similarity. In Turkish and Korean, I heard about it, but I don't really know what the language. I just heard about that that part. 네. And meeting, the meeting, 예정보다 늦게 시작했어. The meeting started late than expected. Yeah, though it is planned start at seven o'clock, but it start it started. At 7.15 or something like that, then the meeting yeah, 예정보다 늦게 시작했어. And some part of the language is similar. Not every part, I, I, say, I guess. The meeting started later than expected. Oh, you, you can translate it better than I do. <laughs> so thank you, Sarah. And yeah, the meeting was delayed, something like that. That's right. Mm. Like starting late. Mm. Okay, and the last word of today is oppa. Oppa. I guess you heard this this one a lot of time, many many times. I I think oppa, like oppan Gangnam style. The lyric goes oppan Gangnam style. Okay, oppa is a word that mm, primarily when a female with a long hair. <laughs> Female person call a uh, older male person, older boy. He is taller. <laughs> so let's say she's like seven years old, and she's he's like like ten years old. Oppa. When she say oppa, oppa is a word that referring older boy for a girl. Mm. But sometimes the male guy can use say like the lyric goes Oppan Gangnam style when when the guy talk to a younger girl and say Oppa then it means I I I'm Oppa to you so I do this Oppa ga igo he you can use that expression that word in that kind of case so when oppa is used by a girl, then it's calling, hey, oppa, or something like that. And when oppa is used by, used by a boy, a male person, then it means 
he's talking to a girl, younger girl, then that I. 오빠가 이겼어. 오빠가 이겼어. means I won. And 오빠 지금 바빠. means I'm busy. Something like that. So, <laughs> mm. here, here goes some information about it. Mm. Oh, that's their name. Yeah, yeah. Some Indian, like, I guess, Tamil or some Indian languages. Yeah, Appa means dad. Amma means mom. Something like that. Amma, Appa. And I researched a little bit. Actually, the Appa and Amma words came from Indian, like Tamil language. Uh, and I reached, I, I, read some story about it a little bit and it says there was a princess from Tamil and came to Korea and she started to use the word Appa Amma something like that Appa Amma and that's when the the word Appa and Amma was introduced to the Korean language as far as I read in that article and maybe that was a true story I'm not sure about that but <laughs> That fun information about it. <laughs> so, okay, that's that's it for today. 오빠, 예정, 빼다, 멀리, 과, 차다. 차다 has many different meanings. 알리다, 쉬다 also has many different meanings. 어울리다 also has many different meanings. And 드시, thing for today. Mm. So, yeah, I hope you learn something new and enjoy the lesson together. And 다음, the next one, will also be at the same time, same day in Korean time, like Saturday 9 in the morning in Korean time. So, I hope you see you all then too. <laughs> 네, 그럼 모두들 잘 지내시고요. 네, 좋은 주말, 어, 좋은... 윅, 아, 윅잘 지내시고, 네, 건강 잘 챙기시고, 다음에 또 뵙겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다, 모두들.